Hey everyone, it's time to get back to it and chill out for a minute and have a conversation for a little bit. And I started off the week talking about yes, and today's word I want to talk about is the word no. I'm not even sure how to address the word no because I am just coming at you, just sort of stream of consciousness off the cuff. That's how I like to talk on these videos. But I do think that no is a very important word that we're all impacted by in our lives. And no typically comes across as a negative and maybe a slap in the face. You don't have permission to do anything or something. Um, and you can't move forward or move on in your life. And well, everyone out there, I think, has a definite feeling, an emotional impact by the word no, which is a little different from the word yes that we talked about in the last video, which is kind of something that produces probably more endorphins and more happy thoughts for us. Well, no kind of goes in the opposite direction and might produce for us feelings of, you know, defeat. And we succumb to that defeat. And it might lead to other things that could be disastrous or torturous to our souls, which could be anxiety and depression, I suppose, and uh, things like that. So I'm not even sure where to begin or how to talk about the word no. There is quite a bit of power in no, but it's just the opposite of yes is what it really is. And it's kind of like the yin and yang in life, right? There's always a polar opposite to, you know, something that we're doing. And sometimes they work together in conjunction to make something actually work, you know? Uh, I keep thinking also of a magnet, you know, and how that polarity just sort of works together and it can stick to certain surfaces, um, a certain magnetic piece of metal. I'm not sure that's a good, uh, uh, a good analogy, but there you go. I, something I thought of and I kind of wondered if it fit in or not. But no is something I personally have a lot of experience with. <clears throat> now, some of you out there know me and know that I uh, have been involved in the business of acting for many, many years. And you go out and you try to get jobs all the time. So you get used to the idea that you're going to be what they refer to as rejected all the time. Um, you get a lot of no's, you know, and uh, you got to have a thick skin, I guess, to get used to the idea that nobody wants you. And that can have quite a big impact on your psyche and sort of pull you under and you feel like you're drowning even though you're, you're not in water. But um, negativity is often associated with the word no. But I, when I think of, you know, no in those terms in my personal experience that way, um, I remember something that someone said to me, not just to me directly, but to a group. And that was, it's not about rejection sometimes, it's about selection. So don't take it too personally all the time when you get a no. Because no can sort of feel like a wall. It stands between you and where you want to go or where you want to be or what you want to do. And sometimes it can be a safeguard to keep you in a better place because it's too soon to go there now. You know. The idea that comes from be careful what you pray for sometimes can parlay into that idea of no being a positive. So there can be some positivity coming through the word no when it comes to things like that. But no in general has a big impact. It's like a punch in the gut or the face or whatever, however you want to look at it that way. And then how do you get beyond that? Some people, you know, it's easy to shrug it off and just move on and say, okay, well, I'll just try something else. And uh, other people, you know, when you're being told no, 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 all your life from your parents on through your school to your jobs and what have you, boy, no is a very powerful word that doesn't really get you very far very fast. <laughs> and, uh, but no can be turned around. And when you turn around the word no, you get the word on 
So you got to turn it on and move forward to get to your yes. Um, so no, it doesn't seem to be a permanent thing, but sometimes it can be something that just says no for right now. This is not the right time. And uh, it doesn't take away who you are as a person just for someone to say no to you. Just if someone, if you, if you ask someone to marry you and they say no, well, that can be pretty striking, especially if you've been seeing them for a while and it can bring you down. But maybe that's a good thing in the end, if they don't really care for you and they're being honest enough to say, Hey, you know, I don't really feel about you in this way to go this far and go this distance with you, then later down the road in the long run, a no can be a good thing. <laughs> but for the most part, when I think of the word no, I think about how it makes me feel right now and how that's played out in my life <clears throat> and kept me from going and doing more of what I would like to have done in life. <clears throat> And life is short, so you know you got to be careful of, you know, the word no. And as I've said in other videos, sometimes it's you who has to be the person who says no, and moves on. Sometimes you have to be the one to use the word no. So there's no getting away from the word no. It's just knowing when to use it in an appropriate manner and doing so that in a way that's loving and caring and nurturing. Same thing I said last video about yes, you need to use it appropriately and in a manner that's not going to be destructive to someone else, you know, not really. And uh, I don't know, um, <laughs> and no is not K-N-O-W, <laughs> it's N-O that I'm talking about today. But getting in the no about no is important, I think, for us to uh, get a grip on. <clears throat> and especially right now, we're about to go into an election and who you vote for is basically saying yes to someone else, but no, someone, yes to someone and no to someone else, right? And I think there's a lot of emotion that comes with that word no, a lot of power and energy. And we need to harness that energy uh, in the right way so that it's not harmful to anyone <clears throat> and produces better results down the road. So no is uh, not always about rejection. It's about selection. No is sometimes making a better choice and drawing your own boundaries and lines and saying, I need to do this instead of this. And I believe uh, there's something else that I was thinking about in terms of the word no, that sometimes if someone says no to you so many times, especially in my business, then, you know, if, if they don't want to accept your ideas, they don't want to accept who you are, they don't want to uh, embrace the person that you're bringing to the table, which is you, um, then maybe they're not the right person to be working with or to be um, collaborating with. So maybe when they say no, you can say thank you, then you're not the right person I need to talk to right now anyway and move forward. So in those terms, no can be a very powerful and positive thing for you to say, or to make it easy for you to say, great, thank you. No is not the answer here. I know that what I'm doing is the right thing to do. I know that my ideas are really not so bad and they can be expanded on and fine tuned and we can hone in and make a good product or a good circumstance, a good event. Um, so we're going to go out to find another person. It's almost like that thing when you're a kid and you want something really bad and you run to your dad and you say, dad, can I do this? And your dad says, go ask your mother and your mother go, you go to your mother and your mother says, go ask your dad. <laughs> and it's a back and forth kind of thing. It's, you know, it's not like we're trying to play each other against each other. We don't want to pit Again, one person against another. But what we're saying is, you know, maybe we're not a good fit here with this uh, idea and this collaboration, this business, um, whatever the situation is. But I'm not going to let that stop me when I believe so much in what I'm doing and in who I am and what I'm meant to be here on this earth. So no can be very powerful, in my opinion, that way because it helps send you in a better direction. And those are some of my ideas about the word no.
in the short time that we have to spend together today. And I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the word no and your ideas, your observations, and your experiences, because everyone has an experience with the idea of being told yes and the idea of being told no. So I'd love to hear more about that. So please put your comments in the comment boxes below. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell if you'd like to continue the conversation with me. Talk about all kinds of things every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just whatever I'm thinking and feeling and experiencing and sometimes a few stories along the way. So I'd love to share that with you on a more regular basis. So don't forget to do that and share the video with your friends and family and anyone who might be interested in being a part of the conversation as well. And we're going to wrap up this week with talking about the word maybe. So tune in next time for that. And until then, y'all have a great day. I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye-bye.